reflecting chapter 1 reflecting on film text 2 a movie close to home objectives by the end of the lesson you will be able to identify the main idea in the text locate the specific idea in the text distinguish between general and specific idea in the text use reading strategy previewing in the text chapter 1 reflecting on film text 2 a movie close to home reading strategy previewing to get a general idea we will preview the text to know that what is the text about you have to read the title or subtitle if any look at any photos graphs or charts read the first sentence of all given paragraphs read the last sentence of the text chapter 1 reflecting on film text 2 a movie close to home by Natasha Tynes. In order to preview the given text, underline the title, the first sentence of each paragraph and the last sentence of the text. You can also underline the numbers, names and examples if any. What do you think this text is about? Chapter 1 Reflecting on Film Text 2 A Movie Close to Home The first sentence of paragraph 1 the travails of Raz, a young Arab-American woman searching for her true self, are the theme of a feature film that producers hope to shoot entirely in Jordan with the Western market as its target audience. The fourth sentence of paragraph 2. The film fails the shadow, is the brainchild of Jackie Ovis Severis, an Arab-American director born in a Jordanian mother and Egyptian father. The fourth sentence of paragraph 3. For the enthusiastic 39-year-old director, the project is not just about making a movie. Fourth sentence of paragraph 4. Suarez believes the film could help the burgeoning Jordanian film industry to be able to take part in the international film community. Fourth sentence of paragraph 5. Furthermore, Suarez, who admits to rebelling at an early age against her origin and her curly black hair, believes it is the responsibility of Arab Americans to change the image of Arabs in the U.S. First sentence of paragraph 6. The locations for the Suarez film are all over the country in Amman, Aqaba, the Dead Sea, Wadi Ram and Petra. The first sentence of paragraph 7. Also an actress, Suarez considers her nanny role in Stanley Kubrick's Eyes Wide Shut as her major achievement. First sentence of paragraph 8. Suarez was in search of funding for the ambitious project in Jordan. First sentence of paragraph 9. Two of the leading characters will come from the West, while the remainder will be drawn from the Arab world, primarily Jordan, said the director. Fourth sentence of paragraph 10. For Suarez, the heart of the movie is Jordan itself. The last sentence of the text. The movie is entirely about the country I fall in love with. Chapter 1. Reflecting on Film Text 2. A movie close to home. Vocabulary check. Semi-autobiographical. Semi, partial, autobiography, an account about a person's life written by that person. Bourgeon, to begin, to grow. Renowned, famous, protagonist, the main character in a book, play, or film to turn down, to refuse. Chapter 1. Reflecting on film. Text 2. A movie close to home. So, the answer of the question asked during previewing, what is the text about? The text describes the story of a young Arab-American woman who wants to highlight her country by making a film on it. Based on the reading of the text, answer the questions that follow. What was the motive of the movie? Answer is, the motive of the movie was to change Arabs. Which were the locations where Suarez was going to shoot her film? The answer is, Amman, Aqaba, the Dead Sea, Wide Rum and Petra. How Suarez wanted to change image of Arabs in US? The answer is, Suarez believes that showing is more effective than telling. Decide the given statements are true or false. Suarez believes that popularity of a country is wider in showing instead of telling. It's a true statement. Suarez collected funds for her film from Middle East. It's a false statement. This is the end of chapter 1, text 2.